hello there and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and if this is your first time here welcome and I sure hope it won't be your last what am I here to share with you today it's a huge package from Timu so let's just see what what they sent me this time always exciting when you go to the mailbox and you have a orange package in the mail. All right, so I opened the top of it and here's what we're looking at, guys. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to sit it on the floor because it is a big package and I don't want it in front of my face. All right, well, let's just start with this one. All right, watch. See what's in this. I love these Timmy bags. There's so much that we can do with them. Okay, something in here. Ooh. I think this is one of those displays that you can write on. Because here's the pen. Here's the base, and here would be the part that goes in that you write on. You got to peel the um, cover off of it. It's a, a, a piece of acrylic, clear acrylic, and it's going to light up your message. But, you know, I got to figure out a way to plug it in, guys. Not sure how that's going to happen, but we'll figure it out. All right, so it's a little hard to get started, but once you do, you just peel off this paper. It's just there to keep your acrylic from getting scratched and shipment. And then that goes in the base. And then we got to plug this in. And I got to figure out how I'm going to do that so we can see it lit yeah. up. All right, guys, so here it is lit up. I'm sorry. I know this is not the best angle. Let me see if I can turn off my ring light. That might help. A little bit. So it's lit up, and I'm going to write a message on it and see what happens. Sorry, I can't um, get it in a better position. Oh, my goodness, guys. Look at that. I'm trying to write with it in the air, but... Isn't that neat? That is super cool. And then it's got an eraser on the end and where I just messed up high, I can erase that off of there with this. There, gone. That is super duper cool. I love that. Sit that right uh, I am really excited about that. I'm sorry that it, I didn't show it to you like in the best position. I just don't have a place to, well, maybe I can reach it from here. Maybe I can hold it up from here. Not real well. But anyways, I couldn't hold it up real well from where I was either. <laughs> sorry. It's a very tiny space here in my studio. And so it's really hard to do things like that. Um, but we'll do our best, right? Here is something in this bag. I'm excited. What is it? What is it? Oh. Oh. It is something in a zipper case. Let's unzip that. Oh, guys, it is a sketchbook and pencil, sketch pencils and stuff. Look, can you see it? I can't see what you can see, but look at that. It's got lots of pencils, erasers, um, blending stumps. Uh, hey, this is like a holder for your like pencils. Especially when it gets shorter. Um, there is this sharpener. 
got to take the paper off of it to get to the pad of sandpaper underneath and there's several sheets but you can sharpen your pencils on there you can um, clean and sharpen your blending stubs here is like I think this is sticks of charcoal it says soft medium and hard so guarantee you that's what that is there's, oh man there's a um, Neat eraser, kneaded eraser, or gum eraser type thing, and there is a white eraser, which is my preference. There are three um, blending stumps. There's a um, what is this? Is this for those? This is a like a craft knife in there. That's helpful. It's got a handle, it's got a like a wrist strap so you can carry this. It has charcoal pencil pencils in soft, medium, and hard, and a um, woodless graphite pencil, and the various hardnesses of sketch pencils. That is amazing. And if that wasn't good enough already, it comes with a sketch pad, guys, that fits inside of that case it's a 5.83 inch by 8.27 inch 80 pound uh, paper I'm trying to get it out of the packaging so we can see it oh I'm going to love taking this on the go this is pretty nice paper it's 25 sheets oh yeah that's pretty nice So it's, you know, it's pretty heavy paper. 25 sheets. The rings at the top so that you can flip it and you can, of course, turn it whichever way you want. And do your sketching on there. That is lovely. It does fit right inside of there. Everything zips up together. You put your little wrist strap on the outside. So you close up everything nice and safely. If I can. All right. And it's ready for on the go. Is that not awesome? It is awesome. So that's going to come in very handy for my artwork. Let's see what's next. some shoes in here oh these are lovely I can get them out the bag out of the way look guys they have beading pearls around here it's got like a silk ribbon that goes across your foot they're almost slipper like I mean they're like ballet flats but I mean, the, it's got this material that's slipper-like, but yet they're meant to wear, like, out and about. Let me see if they fit me. They're so cute. So cute. See? Going like this on your feet. I'm going to try it on. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to try to get my foot up here for you to see it. I don't have... I wish I had more room somewhere. Those are cute. Wait, do you see? If I can get my foot up here without breaking a leg. Look how cute that is. Oh, it is so comfy. If I can get my leg back down. Guys, I need more room. I have such a small, tiny little house. And there's just, it's so full of things. You know, because I craft and I video and I, I mean, there's lights and cameras and <laughs> action, right? And here's my other foot. Get it up here. Very cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love those. 
They're beautiful. They are so pretty on. I love those. I think I said that already. All right. What else? What else? I'm now I'm even more excited. Hey, there's some things in this bag. It's like Christmas. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Look at this headband, guys. Look at this gold, look, what is it, gold lame type of headband. You see, I've got a black one on right now. Let me, oh, I don't want to mess my hair up. I mean, not that I'm having a good hair day, but isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm going to mess my hair up. <laughs> All right, but I didn't just get it in gold. They also sent it to me in silver. What do you think? Yeah. Cute, huh? Alright, just leave that on there. Um, I have a gold foil flower color changing lipstick. Okay, that's the box. Let's see the lipstick. They sent me some super cool items this time. They always do. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, it's got an E on it. My favorite letter in the world because my husband's name is Eric and our last name is Edmonds. So, yeah. Look how pretty that is. That's going to be so pretty on a vanity, huh? Oh, my God. Goodness, guys, there's a flower inside of it for real, and it's like clear. Can you see that? All right, we are going to try it on. I wonder what color it's going to change. Please don't change like blue or something. Okay, look. good because it doesn't it doesn't go wild I was a little afraid of what color it might turn what do you think pretty neat it probably adjusts like to your body temperature or something I wonder if that's how it works okay where did I put the box why do I want it back in the box I don't know because I wanted to see if it said anything on the box Let's see what it do say. Little tiny print. Apply directly to the lips. Store in a cool, dry place. Avoid direct sunlight or high temperatures. Note, please use it correctly according to the instructions. If you are allergic to the product or ingredients, yeah, we know. Don't use it then. It's moisturizing for the lips and the color is long-lasting, it says. Okay. I like that. And I like that it's got that flower inside there and it's really neat looking in the packaging, you know, the, the bottle, you call it a bottle? Tube, tube itself. The tube itself is really beautiful and the lipstick is beautiful. So the next thing, it says, Tin Tark Perfume, Apple Almond Tin Tark Perfume. It is apple almond fragrance. It says something inside the lid. Hang on. Apple and almond, not even heard when they are found. Love is always bound. I don't know. It's hard to read. Okay, so here is the bottle for the packaging. Neat. I think it's a stick. Oh, it's like a roll-on type. Oh my goodness, that smells good. It's got a thing over the top like a deodorant. 
And then there's what it looks like. You know what? It says apple almond, but it almost has like a honeysuckle fragrance. Put some behind my ears. Can't put it like on my neck because cat. Oh guys, that smells really lovely. It's a light scent. Put it on the pulse points here. It's really lovely. I like that. Where'd I put the lid? Oh no, I lost the lid. I found it. And the lid just twists on. Probably needs to go down a little bit. I put the little protector back on it just to keep it, you know, safe. But, oh wow, that smells good. I like it, actually. It's a really light, light fragrance. And it does kind of smell apple-y. I don't really so much smell almond. I smell apples and honeysuckle. That's what it smells like to me. But that's just me. All right. So the next item is decorating cake decorating kit. It's decorating bags that are reusable. They're silicone. And some tips. My mom had gotten me a whole set of tips from Timu. But um, it only had one bag. So I wanted more bags. Got two of the coupler sets, the like nozzle thing and the couplers. It comes with how many of the bags that are silicone? Looks like two of them. So, and it's got a few tips too. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six tips. There's a stand, like a rose tip in here. I'll show you it on the. It doesn't have a nail for doing the roses. I need to get one. It's like a, a round disc on top of a, it looks like a nail. And um, you use it to pipe out the roses. So with this, you would unscrew the coupler. This part goes inside the bag. Down in the end. And then the rose tip would go on there. And then the ring goes on here and screws on. Okay. They smell a little musty and moldy. They definitely, you know, you don't want to use anything without cleaning it first. So then you would fill this with your icing. You can put it over something. You can turn the bag down so you don't make a big old mess. Because it, believe me, it will make a mess. And then put the icing in here and then put the bag up. Okay, and then you've got your icing inside of here and you push it down and you twist it up. But it's got these silicone rings that you can put around it, kind of like a twist tie. So that it helps to keep it from coming out the end. Okay, but this would be puffed out with icing. And then you hold your icing bag, you know, with icing in it. And you have your nail and you do your, helps have my tip the right way, do your roses or whatever. There's a rose tip. I'm not sure what that one would do. There's one for sort of a, these are like more star type tips for doing like, um, like a border. Um, what do you call it? My brain, there's one that can do kind of like poofy flowers. There's a writing tip that's just round and not really a leaf tip unless they want to call this a leaf tip. Um, I'd have to play with them because it's been a long time since I've decorated cakes, but I'm going to have fun with this. It also comes with these like spatulas that have, um, I'll show you different, you can do different like uh, edging on your cake. Like here's a smooth one. You can just sort of smooth off your icing. Like here's a rounded one. 
And here's one that has like a kind of cone like that you can go around the edge and it'll make lines in your cake. And that's that's a neat look, you know. I like it smooth, but some people like it with the ridges and lines. And so those are really neat. Yeah, neat. I am happy with this. I'm going to put these in here so I don't lose them. The little things that go on the end of the bag, that's like a twisty thing. You wrap it around. Say this is your bag. <laughs> you wrap it around like a rubber band. And this is kind of, can you see this sheet? You wrap it around the bag and put that through there. And it keeps your icing from coming out the end of your bag. And yes, it does that. It will come all out the end of the bag, go all over you. That I've never had those, so that's a really neat invention. I'm trying to put all the pieces together so I don't lose them. Because I will lose them. Maybe I will do a cake one day on a video. So the bags and that's a nice, nice set. Alright. I don't like the smell of it, but that's what soap and water is for, right? Alright, what's next? This goes with that, but they're separate. But it's a cake turntable. So for decorating, you put the cake on there and you turn it as you pipe things and awesome. I've always wanted one of these. I just had to do it by hand. Come on, there's more stuff in here. What else? Oh my goodness. All right, so it's got this spatula for I think your cake. It's just a straight spatula. But then there is an, also an offset spatula. See how it's offset? It's not straight. These are wonderful for icing your cake. And in a pinch, I've used this to serve wedding cake uh, when you had to serve little slices to a really big group. So those, yep, I am loving those. And then we have more of these spatulas. These, I call them spatulas, I don't know what they call them. For doing the icing, I think it's the same three, it is. But that's okay. That's all right, it doesn't hurt to have extras. Cause I'll tell you what, you do a big cake, uh, you're gonna have everything dirty. And then here's the turntable. So you put the layer that you're working on on here and you ice it and you turn it. See? It's nice it has a base so it's not too flat to the table. And um, put it, don't put the cake directly on here. Put, put your cake board on here. But a tip, you may want to put a little blob of icing, little blob of icing and put your cake board on top so that your cake board doesn't uh, slide that'll help hold it in place and then you put your cake layer on the cake board on top of here and then you do your de decorating and that way your cake is already ready you can move it from here you know and do your next layer amazing I'm loving that and another tip to this doesn't slide is uh, get a silicone like baking mat and you can set this on top of it and then it won't slide either. Then you just have this going. That is amazing. That is awesome. So, and then the tips that my mom already got me, I am going to have some fun decorating some cakes pretty soon. I used, I have decorated wedding cakes for actual weddings and birthday cakes and things like that. My mom uh, did them when I, when I was a kid and I learned from a very young age. I, I probably started helping her when I was eight or nine and um i got really good there for a while but i haven't done it in so many years it's really just hard to say hey guys they sent me an extra bag that didn't have anything in it that's kind of odd isn't it that's all right i'll find a use for it what else is in here it's another bigger package i'm excited for these things oh guys I need this. I need this today. I have 
planned to go to the store. I know that it is Super Bowl Sunday and going today is ridiculous because guys, I live in the Kansas City area and the Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. It's gonna be a nightmare, I'm sure. But I wanna go get some cheese and meats for cheese and crackers. And this is a cheese slicer. And I've been wanting one of these so that I can cut the slice, you know, slices of cheese straight and kind of even instead of all wonky that I do with a knife. And it's thick on one end and thin on the other end. And one piece is a lot, you know, thicker than the next piece. And See, it goes, see the blade, the wire that goes through the cheese? Nice. And it's got measurements on here and centimeters. It tells you, you know, how big it is. And you can um, get your slices exactly, even if you wanted them a centimeter thick. That is really awesome. And it's got rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't slide too much nice but again i'm going to set it on my silicone baking mat because these are not silicone they're not rubbery they're hard plastic so this would still slide a bit i'm gonna set it on the silicone baking mat and then it won't yep i'm gonna get some use out of this today i intend to have meat and cheese and crackers during the game I know, I gotta go as soon as I record this, I have got to go to the store. Because I went to the store yesterday and I forgot the meat and cheese and I got the crackers, no meat, no cheese. It's 13 centimeters by, you know, this away, by 21 centimeters this away. But this is the, this part is 24 centimeters, in case you wanted to know, the handle was 7.7 centimeters. I'm only telling you because the measurements are on the box. But if you look on the box, it shows you how to use it. See, block cheese and you cut it up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you buy the cheese already in the little slices, it's more expensive than if you buy the block of cheese and then cut the slices yourself. Is there something else? Uh, giveaway cards more of those they are good until february 28th so i gotta hand those out maybe while i'm at the store guys what do you think of my tino this time i love all these kitchen gadgets i'm going to make cake and decorate it um i'm going maybe maybe i can even make one for valentine's day that's tuesday it might be pushing it just a little bit uh, i may not get it done but i can try or maybe the weekend you know um, yeah, that would be neat. And I'm going to get the cheese and crackers and goodness, the art kit. I'm, I'm going to use that probably while the game is on because I don't really like sports. And that'll give me something to do while other people are watching the game. So anyways, what do you think? I think it's a wonderful Timu order. I love everything I get from Timu. I really love that sign. That is really super cool. I didn't know how that worked, but I'm glad I got that. And um, I don't know, I'm just excited about everything. And I'm babbling. So guys, tell me what you think. What item do you like the best? What do you think you get the most use out of? And please, give me that big old thumbs up because you know that would really help my channel. It would tell that algorithm that my babbling is, you know, at least worth listening to a little bit. And please, subscribe to my video and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well you never know they might like to listen to me babble and maybe they haven't heard of timu before and thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble and i'll see you again in a minute in another video because i have some more orange packages to share with you bye guys oh my goodness i am really excited